Welcome to Aberdeen International Airport. Air travel is the safest form of passenger transport. Every day, millions of people across the world take to the skies, confident they're in safe hands. Here at Aberdeen International Airport, we are committed to ensuring that the high standards applied in the air also apply on the ground. Within excess of 300 flights and 10,000 passengers using the airport daily, and 2,500 people working across the campus, safety has to be our top priority. This short video outlines some of the essential information that will help keep you safe during your time at Aberdeen International Airport. It's important that you watch carefully. We will never compromise on your safety, nor should you. We all have a responsibility to ensure the safe operation of our airports. Welcome to one of Scotland's busiest airports. Here at Aberdeen International Airport, we pride ourselves on our commitment to customer service. We were the first airport in the UK to be awarded Customer First accreditation in recognition of the launch of our customer charter. That charter sets out key commitments on safety and customer service. It is designed to ensure your journey through our airport is safe and enjoyable as possible. We want to eliminate all preventable injuries throughout our campus. To achieve this, we aim to create a culture that is intolerant of poor performance and establishes safety as a core business value. Good safety is good business. Here's how you can help. Always stick to designated walkways when outside the terminal. This applies when you're entering the terminal from the car parks or drop-off points and on the airfield. You'll find clearly marked walkways in the land side and air side locations. Stick to them for your own safety. Keep your belongings with you at all times. Unattended baggage presents a significant security risk. Most bags are left as a result of absent-mindedness. But we have to treat every incident as a potential threat. Sometimes it may force us to evacuate the terminal and delay flights, inconveniencing passengers. This causes anger and frustration. If you see an unattended bag, you should inform a member of staff. Do not attempt to open the bag yourself. Don't put yourself and others in danger. If you see someone acting suspiciously, you should also inform a staff member. Don't, under any circumstances, confront the person yourself. Inform the professionals. If you require first aid assistance or if you encounter someone in need of first aid, you should report it to the nearest member of staff who will then contact our first aid team. OK. Mm -hmm. Is that helping? Yeah. Please don't run in the terminal. It puts you and others at risk of injury. Take your time. If you see unsafe behaviour anywhere in the airport, challenge it. But do so in a friendly, constructive manner. Your intervention could prevent a serious injury. Injuries cost us time and money and affect our reputation. That's something we take extremely seriously. People have the right to come to our airport and the knowledge that they will be safe and secure. Keep your bags with you at all times. Unattended bags present a serious safety risk. If you see anything suspicious, report it immediately. Safety is our number one priority. Yep, I acknowledge that. Uh, fire crews are responding. With thousands of people at the airport at any one time, fires present a significant threat to life and property. 
Airport firefighters undergo rigorous training and operate 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. They work in partnership with the Scottish Fire and Rescue Service to ensure the safety of staff and passengers in the terminal, on the airfield and on board aircraft. Fortunately, fires are extremely rare. If you see or suspect a fire, here's how to respond. You can report a fire by calling 222 from the nearest internal phone or one of several red phones in the terminal. They provide a direct line to the airport fire service. You should also activate the nearest fire alarm. Don't try to extinguish a fire yourself. If you see red strobes activated on sensors located on the ceiling, this means that smoke has been detected. You don't need to take any immediate action, but be aware that you may be asked to evacuate the terminal if an alarm sounds in the following few minutes. If you do hear an alarm, don't panic. Leave the building as quickly as possible, but don't run. Staff will be in hand to assist you. Once outside, you'll be directed to a fire assembly point. This way, please. Careful crossing the roads. There's an assembly point at each end of the airport forecourt. Walk towards the nearest assembly point and wait for further instructions. Passengers and staff will only be allowed to re-enter the airport once it's safe to do so. Some passengers and staff may need to be security screened again. Smoking at Aberdeen International Airport is only allowed in designated areas outside the terminal in the public areas. Smoking in any other part of the airport building or on the airfield is strictly prohibited. Fires can be hugely disruptive and potentially lethal. Fortunately, we can rely on the professionalism of our airport fire service and their colleagues in the Scottish Fire and Rescue Service to keep us safe. But you can also play a part in keeping fire at bay. If you see or suspect a fire, call 222 or access one of the direct dial red phones in the terminal. Don't try to extinguish it yourself. Activate the fire alarm. Follow the directions of staff and stay safe. Don't run. Aberdeen International Airport has a comprehensive health and safety strategy. Safety and security is at the heart of our business. It's one of the core commitments of our award-winning customer charter. We have a safety-first culture that demands the highest standard of behaviour across all areas of the business and at all levels. We've set out a challenging vision for the future with a zero-tolerance approach to reckless behaviour. So, year to date for our safety... Um... As a responsible business, we have a duty of care to everyone who works here or travels from our airport. All employees have a responsibility to ensure the safety of our airport. Safety isn't someone else's problem, it's everyone's responsibility. So, this is what we expect from you. Look out for your own health and safety and that of others whilst at work. Don't misuse or interfere with equipment provided in the interests of health and safety. Be careful when using hazardous substances. Staff and contractors must wear personal protective equipment, or PPE, appropriate to the work they're undertaking. Use designated pedestrian routes from the staff car park to the terminal building and in airside areas. Ensure work areas are clean and tidy. Poor housekeeping is a major contributory factor to work-related accidents and is also a fire risk. Keep cables tidy and avoid trip hazards. Look out for spillages in offices and public areas and keep escape routes clear of obstructions. Don't be afraid to intervene when you see something unsafe. If you see something that poses a health and safety risk, please report it to an airport manager. Don't ignore a safety risk. Someone's life could be in danger.
Because we have a zero tolerance approach to accidents, we log and investigate every accident and near miss. By doing so, we can monitor our progress on health and safety more effectively and prevent accidents occurring in the future. Aberdeen International Airport is continually investing in the facilities we offer, both in the terminal and on the airfield. Millions are spent each year to ensure we can match current and future demand. That's good news for our passengers, but construction sites can pose a safety danger. Employees working on these sites must take additional safety precautions. You must wear relevant specific personal protective equipment, such as high-vis clothing, protective boots, hard hat, hearing protection, gloves and goggles. You must wear this equipment whenever you are on site, otherwise you'll be asked to leave. Ensure any construction sites are zoned off to prevent public access. Don't leave tools and equipment lying around in public areas. Under UK law, a risk assessment is required before any maintenance or repair work can be carried out in the airport. The risk assessment must follow a simple five-step process. Identify the hazards, identify who could be harmed, evaluate the risks and decide on precautions, record your findings, review the assessment. Following these five steps will help reduce the risk of injury to staff and passengers. Health and safety is at the heart of our business. Everything else is secondary. Safety comes first. It's everyone's responsibility. Take the time to prevent accidents. When they do occur, report them. And wear appropriate PPE. Ensure your ID is visible at all times. Working at an airport presents challenges and hazards not found on most construction sites. There are a whole host of security and safety regulations that anyone working on site must follow. It's important that you're aware of these restrictions. Failure to follow them could affect your right to work at Aberdeen International Airport. Registering to work as a contractor involves a three-stage process after completion of all method statements and risk assessments. Here's how it works. Before arriving on site, all contractors must first complete a permit to work application. This applies to everyone regardless of where you'll be working. There are a range of different permits depending on the nature of the work you do, so check with control of contractors which permit you require. The engineering department processes all permits to work. You should report here for registration and safety induction. Your company will need to present evidence of relevant insurance policies, employee names, details of the work you intend to carry out, its health and safety policy and accident records. It will also need to provide a list of tools and their associated inspection records, training and qualifications of the staff carrying out the works. It should also declare any legal actions taken against the company. All contractors must provide some form of identification, either a valid passport or a photographic driving licence. Once registered, you will be issued with a contractor's pass. This is stage two. This will allow you to work on site for a specified period. You should wear this pass at all times and it must be visible. Anyone found without a valid pass will not be permitted to work on site. The security regulations mean that all staff working at the airport require a security pass. There are two types of pass. Most airport staff have a permanent security pass. This allows them unescorted access to many parts of the terminal and airfield. However, if you're just intending to work here for a short time, it's likely you'll be issued with a temporary pass. This is stage three of the process. We require everyone working airside at the airport to possess a security pass. You can obtain your temporary pass from the security ID unit. 
Now you'll be asked to present your permit to work pass and suitable identification. A UK passport or photographic driving licence is acceptable. Contractors from other countries can present their national ID card. Staff with temporary passes who are working airside must be escorted at all times by a permanent pass holder. You must wear your pass and ensure it is visible at all times. All contractors are required to sign in before they start work and sign out on completion. This must be done on a daily basis. Smoking is not permitted at any time on site and all contractors must wear full PPE kit at all times. Remember, you're working in a busy public environment. Take care to ensure your work does not present a risk to passengers and other staff. Any accident should be reported to an airport manager to ensure prompt and correct treatment and reporting. All contractors are responsible for the removal of all their waste from site. Any contractor's waste on site must be controlled to avoid misuse, to prevent foreign object debris blowing onto the airfield and to reduce the risk of attracting birds. Aberdeen International Airport is working towards zero waste to landfill policy and we provide recycling facilities for plastics, cardboard, paper, tin cans and food waste in common areas. As contractors working at Aberdeen International Airport, we regard you as ambassadors for the airport. Your behaviour has an impact on our reputation and it's something we take very seriously. This means we expect the same high standards from you that we do from our own staff. Airports are not like normal construction sites. We follow additional safety and security regulations. Make sure you wear the appropriate PPE. Ensure your ID is visible at all times. Dispose of waste responsibly. Aberdeen is one of the UK's busiest international airports and one of the world's busiest commercial heliports. Hundreds of fixed wing and helicopter flights take off every day. The airfield is extremely busy. Here, as elsewhere in the airport, safety is absolutely paramount. The airport's operations and security team regularly patrol the airfield and runway to ensure that our strict safety and security standards are followed at all times. If you're working on the airfield, you have an important part to play in ensuring we meet those standards. All vehicles entering the airfield must be security screened. Drivers must obtain a temporary vehicle pass from the security department before going on to the airfield. Make sure your ID is visible at all times. Only take equipment that is essential for the work you're doing airside. Drivers and passengers will also be subject to a full security search. In some cases, vehicles will be escorted onto the airfield by the airport's operations team. Follow their instructions at all times. Airports are exciting places to work, but they're also high risk. It's your job to ensure those risks are managed and that the high standard of safety we expect is maintained at all times. Driving on the airfield requires care and vigilance. Anyone driving airside must adhere to the airport's safe driving standards. You should always give way to aircraft and not proceed until it is safe to do so. Remember that aircraft engines can emit a powerful thrust. Be particularly careful around propellers. When in motion, aircraft propeller blades can be hard to see, particularly in the dark. If you require to cross the runway or to manoeuvre around taxiways, you must seek prior permission from air traffic control. I'm holding at Mike 9 for a runway inspection, please. Ranger 4, roger. Hold my... Failure to seek permission will put you and others at serious risk. You must wear the appropriate PPE whenever you're on the airfield including high-vis jackets, hearing protection and appropriate footwear. Stick to designated walkways. Never be tempted to take shortcuts to save time. 
Smoking is absolutely prohibited on the airfield. It presents a significant risk anywhere on the airport, but especially on the airfield, where aircraft are being refuelled around the clock. Anyone found smoking will be subject to strict penalties. Another significant safety risk is FOD, or foreign object debris. FOD includes a wide range of materials, including litter, building materials, rocks, plastics, even broken pieces of luggage. FOD can damage aircraft tires or become ingested in aircraft engines. That can cost airlines time and money, but more seriously, it can put lives at risk. There are designated FOD bins across the airfield. If you see any debris on the taxiways or airfield, please dispose of it in these bins if it's safe to do so, or report it to the ops team. Remember, airports are unlike many other working environments. Even simple tasks like driving on the airfield can present a risk to public safety if you don't follow the rules. Please take your own safety as seriously as we do. Take extra care around aircraft and remain vigilant at all times. Wear appropriate PPE, ensure your ID is visible at all times. Follow the advice of our security and ops teams. Report any safety concerns.